Hi there, this is Freema Dive and my name is Joe. In today's video, I'm going to show you the difference between absolute positioning, relative positioning, fixed positioning, and sticky positioning. It's come to my attention that to some people this might not seem as easy. And so if you're a beginner in Framer and you find yourself struggling to understand this concept, I will try my best to explain to you this concept in as easy as possible. I will also use some analogies so that you can try and picture it yourself. At the end of it all, I will give you an exercise just for you to practice and sharpen your skills in about these concepts. Once again, my name is Joe. This is Frima Dive and let's get started. When you enter your first page when you click the the new project you're going to bring yourself to this page we are going to see a blank canvas so the blank canvas is the page where every designer in Framer starts with and so since you're now a designer a Framer designer we can begin so when you when you start this the page you're going to see this blank canvas and then this is like just the way you are uh, in kindergarten or in, in, in lower primary, where the first thing you started by doing is by being given a piece of paper and a pencil for you to do anything. So let's now keep an open mind in this. So in Frema, the easiest thing you can learn is let's imagine your F, which is the, the two that you're going to draw frames with is like your pencil. So in your keyboard, I want you to press F on your keyboard and then when you press F, you actually see that there is a cross-like, um, your cursor changes into a cross-like icon. So this means that you're now about to draw a frame. So when you click your, when you click down and then you draw it like this, you draw your first frame. So congratulations, you've just drawn your first design in Framer. Anyway, let's continue. So this is where the concept of absolute positioning starts. I'm going to start by explaining absolute positioning. So absolute positioning in simple term is a default positioning type when creating your first frame or text. So in this case, we've created our first frame and this frame is positioned absolutely in this desktop breakpoint. So for those who are wondering, a breakpoint is just a page. So imagine your piece of paper like as the breakpoint. So my first frame, which is this, is positioned absolutely. If you see on the right side of your menu bar, you're going to see absolute positioning. And then if the second thing I also want you to learn is when I when you hold T on your keyboard and then you click, when you click, you start by creating a text. So let's let's write this is my first design so basically this design which is your first design on framer is also positioned absolutely as you can see so this is how you understand so this is now the first thing in framer you need to know is any form of frame that you draw is usually positioned absolutely so let's go now to relative positioning so relative positioning is simply frames are positioned relatively when its parent layout is activated. So the key things that I want to define here. So the frames are these that we've drawn. So the frame can be a rectangle. It can be a text. This is also a frame. As you can see, there's a border. There's a blue border here. So these two are positioned relatively when its parent layout is activated. So if I want to get to the parent layout, the parent layout is simply the 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 frame that is just above this frame. And which frame is above this frame? Is it this one? It's kind of above it, but it's not really above it. So what is above these two frames is this, the desktop breakpoint or rather the desktop frame. So if I go to the desktop and I click on the right side, you can see there is a breakpoint here, there's a positioning, there's a width, 
but just underneath it we have a layout so if i click this icon see what happens all of a sudden the frame and my text changes their position so it means they're actually now positioned relatively how do we know they're positioned relatively if you click this rectangle and you go to the type of position you can see aha it's relative what about my text you can see it here it's also relative so congratulations you just created your first relative positioning in framer let's proceed again with what relative position is all about so the simplest way to create this is by clicking the layout plus icon on the right panel so this is what we just did and then the second the third thing is frames here play by some rules so what are these rules that actually these frames play by as you can see to recap this is a frame this is a frame but now this is a frame in a text form that's why we can see there's a t here so the idea is that since they're now positioned relatively they play by a certain set of rules if i try to bring this outside here it doesn't move anywhere as you can see if i try to uh, bring it up it goes up if i try to bring it down it goes down so the rule is very simple the rule is that these two frames which is now positioned relatively they only move up and about each other if i try to move it sideways it comes back so it snaps back to its original position so these are the rules or the constraints that actually makes this relative positioning then as you can see then the so again this is a powerful idea this is the most common positioning of all why is it the most common because when you're trying to create your first design you have to have a set of rules so that your design can be well structured this is why this is regarded as the most common positioning in frame up so let's say for example that i want to create a button so to create a button you simply uh hold t again on your keyboard and then you click and then you write a uh, button so if i'm creating a button and normally let's imagine this is a button if i'm creating a button the button is just below this text so basically if i draw it back here so you see the button also follows a certain structure so you know by looking at any website there is usually a defined structure in a way of doing things that is why this is regarded as the most common position in type but there are some times where we can change the positioning based on our preferences and circumstances that we find ourselves in the design process anyway let's continue now to the third section the third positioning type so the third positioning is called fixed positioning fixed positioning is simply uh, i want you to imagine this as a knight in a chess game it's not as important but useful so the fixed positioning type is where you want a certain element or rather a certain frame to be fixed in its position so simply means if i scroll down you see when you enter any website and you try and scroll down you want the frame or the element which is for example this blue one to be fixed to a certain position let's say for example i come i come here and let's say i want i want to scroll down you can see this uh first this this rectangle is not fixed but we can make it fixed so how do you do it just come to the frame itself and then on the right side you're going to see position and then on the drop down menu you're going to see fixed so click fixed so once you click fixed as you can see what has happened is that now this rectangle is fixed to its position how do we test this you just come here and click this play icon and once you play it if i scroll you can see that this doesn't move anywhere as before so that means we've just created our first fixed positioning then our last and final positioning um is that is called sticky positioning so consider this as a sibling of to the fixed positioning basically these two are very similar but they differ 
in one essential aspect this works the sticky positioning only works for all this works for all frames not frames directly under the desktop as you can see this is a frame under the desktop right so we have this frame it is just under the desktop but when i put it um when i try to create another frame inside here basically a frame inside a frame and if i try to put this uh into fixed positioning it won't work because as you can see if i try and come here and see so why isn't this working there's no fixed positioning because fixed positioning only works for frames under the desktop and it's actually used to create the navigation bars you see when you enter a website and you see that navigation bar up there this is now the work of um, of the sticky positioning uh, sorry of the fixed positioning so sticky positioning now comes whereby we want this to be just to have the similar properties as the fixed positioning so if i try to come here as you, again i can't put fixed positioning but what i can do i can put a, a sticky positioning but still not yet how do we do this so sticky positioning this is how you do it first of all we have to make this into a layout so i need to come here and click layout and then when i come here i'm going to now put this in the sticky positioning so also note that sticky positioning also works when you activate the parent into a layout when we return this to our relative positioning so we can see that this one is still moving so what we want we want this to be fixed or rather we want it to be sticky mm, sorry not fixed but this blue one this center one we want it to be sticky so how do we do it so we come here and we place it to sticky but as you can see when we play it it doesn't happen nothing happens it's not sticky so what we do is just we we try to we have to make all the parent layers to overflow visible this might sound a bit technical but let me try and explain it is as easy as possible so the parent layers once again is any layer that is above layer for example this is a parent to this one and then this is also a child it's a child to this one so what we want we want all the parent layers of this frame to be set to visible so you just come here to this parent layer on the right side panel you're going to see under styles you're going to see overflow and the overflow here is hidden so click overflow hidden and then click overflow visible and then you come to the other parent layer which is this go to styles and then come here to overflow visible and now as we play you're going to see the sticky working well so as you can see this now sticks to a certain position it doesn't move as before so again let's go back here and recap so sticky positioning so consider this as a sibling of the fixed positioning this works for all frames not all frames directly under the desktop and then frames stick to the screen as you scroll just as we've just seen there you go so with that information i believe you can create your fast designs and also try and work your way around the different types of positioning i hope you've learned something and to wrap it up i would like you to try this exercise over here i will link this file in the description below you can try this exercise and hopefully you can get a deep understanding of the two types of positioning and also boost your your skills in framer thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something this is Frima dive i'm joe and see you in the next video